So you're still freaking crashing no matter what settings you choose in Call of Duty or Warzone. I'll get a fix for you today. It should help out a lot. You shouldn't have to do it, but here's the thing. I'm going to show you what a lot of others won't show you. And it's very, very quick and easy and simple. I'm going to show you really quickly in this YouTube short. First, you're going to go ahead and go to the search and type in percent sign app data percent sign. Once you're there, you're going to go ahead to the very top of the address bar, click app data, go to local, and then go to Activision. Once you're there, you want to go ahead and click on the Call of Duty folder, crash reports, and then you're going to sort this by date modifier for the most recent, okay? Double click that folder. There's going to be a ton of different options here. The only one that you're actually looking for is going to be DX Diag on crash, all right? Once you're there, control F, type in Diag, it should bring you straight to where you need to be, which is under diagnostics. Once you're at diagnostics, look under problem signature, and you're gonna look at the P1 line, okay? That right there is the issue that you're having that's making you crash. Once you find that P1 there, all you have to do is just Google it. If you don't know what it is, it could be a bunch of numbers. It could be a specific Windows engine. It could be whatever it is. If you're not familiar with what it is, then just Google it. That's all you have to do. All right. Once you figure that out, you either want to uninstall the program or just turn it off, disable it, do whatever you have to do to prevent it from actually starting up again, launch your game and see if that fixes it. Hopefully that helps for you because I know that it's helped for me as well as a few others that I've also helped along the way. If you're unfamiliar with how to disable something from the startup, I'm gonna show you that really quick. You can either hit Control Alt Delete or you can right click the Start menu and go to Task Manager. Once you're at Task Manager, you're gonna to go to the left, you go to Startup Apps. Once you're there, right click the app and then just hit Disable. That's all you have to do. I know, I know. A lot of us don't want to have to go through all that stuff, but it's at least something to help you play the game you want to play until they actually get a fix for it. Because right now, Call of Duty, depending on the system and apps you have on your PC, it doesn't quite work with it, right? It may work for me, it may not work for you and vice versa. But I've done this for myself and it's helped a lot. I even ran a test while running Guild Wars 2 in the background while launching Modern Warfare, and Modern Warfare did crash, as you saw in the problem signature. Now, I have helped others as well. Some had issues with Armory Crate. Some had issues with a noise suppression engine. They had to figure, they had to Google and figure out how to disable that as well. Um, sometimes you don't have to uninstall it. Maybe it's just a quick little disable from startup kind of thing, but at least that helps solve the issue for the ones that I've helped already. And I'm pushing this out here in the public world of YouTube and hopes that it helps most of you out there that are still having issues. But I hope this helps you. This was a very short and quick video. If you want to check out the INI as well as my settings for control panel for NVIDIA, make sure you check out the video at the end of this or in the description below. So I'm gonna end this video by showing you some screenshots of my in-game settings that I use for Call of Duty. Feel free to tweak whatever you want. Just remember, try these first, including the texture memory, literally to the T. And if you wanna bump anything up, make sure you do these settings first. If there's no crashes for several games, only change one setting, go higher, play a few games, still no crashes, just keep going up and up and up but only do one at a time. So that way you can narrow down what's making you crash as well on top of that using the in-game settings. Other than that, thank you for checking out the video. And as usual, stay hydrated, stay cool or warm, sign right out.